my snapdragons keep coming back every year. I started with three plants of them and two of them keep coming back. They're just beautiful. They just explode in blooms every year. I love them. I was introduced to them as a kid but you could you could get hold of them and make them open up a little bit. <laughs> Beautiful snapdragons. Here's a nice mint with a little variegation on the leaves. I always love the way it makes my hands smell. Here's some lavender. And I know that the lavender will come back year after year. Love the way that makes my hands smell too. I had, years ago, I had a lavender plant about this size, and I planted it at the, near the base of a rose bush, and it, uh, it survived very well. I moved away from that place for seven years, and when I came back, it was still there. So, lavender, easy to keep and hard to kill. And chives. The chives are blooming now. Everyone should keep chives in their garden. You can snip the leaves to put on your baked potatoes or wherever you like that chive flavor. Oh, and look, there's a bee. You see her? Oh, here she comes. Checking me out. But you can have that chive flavor in your kitchen. You can, you know, keep it as a a culinary herb but the other thing is that it makes an announcement when the chives bloom it's warm enough to plant beans so if I'm going to plant beans this is the time to do it so over here we have a blackberry bush this one's a spiny one it uh, they, they actually grow kind of wild around here. And this is one that I rescued from a place where somebody was going to throw it away. And it, it blooms fairly prolifically every spring, but we don't get much fruit off of it. And I'm not sure if that's because the birds get it or if they just don't make. I'm just not sure. But uh, I'm a little disappointed in its ultimate performance. And so uh, I am going to pull this out of here and put something else in that bed. Right here we have a little, a little stand of garlic. Looks like about three plants that probably either dropped a clove right there or uh, when they flower, they send up what amount to seed head kind of stalks called scapes and the scapes you can use to you can use like garlic garlic scapes for flavoring in your cooking or they will grow more garlic and that's a way that garlic gets naturalized in an area I'm happy to see I have a potato emerging and here's her sister there's more garlic. My beds are a bit unkempt here. That's where the garlic's really going crazy. I planted this last year and I was not able to get out here to harvest it due to health issues, but I probably will be able to this year. Looks like the squirrels have been in here planting little volunteer pecan and oak trees. Oh, and there's elm also, a little elm seedling. This poor little thing is a pepper plant. Happy to see it's still alive, but just barely. This is some bronze fennel. Love that fennel flavor on my fingers also. Fennel kind of has a licorice flavor to it. Oh, and here's some little carnations that I planted. Some carnations and they're, they're still going strong. Another little potato breaking through, that's great.
Thank you for coming with me on this little garden tour. Do you grow vegetables? What is your favorite thing to grow? Let me know in the comments section. If you have any questions or comments, be sure and post them below. Feel free to share this video and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.